there to uh, upper mid, but that's just misdirection right now from Stealthless. We can see that they are geared up and ready to go B. Possibly stumble quickly. Yep, here comes the play. Telegraphed by the smoke. Hiko hiding out. Does he have a flash to use? He won't worry about it. He'll just stay on the end four. And they won't even check it. He gets one, two, three, four, five. That's the ace from Hiko. What an insane spray in the A4 commercial as he gets all five kills with 30 bullets. Missed NBK with a jumping penetration shot into the face. Chris Jano let's even put Spitty alone. He's got two frags though, but he's got to find two more. And that jumping off is still in play here. Is he going to get another one? It's NBK jumping off and he will get punished. Spitty comes back from the 4K. Oh. Cortez and Taco haven't seen it. They're playing for the bomb plant, sure, but this is dangerous to let Mix while this close. He's going to peek into Fallen, though. And Fallen already with oh, three kills makes it for Fallen. Oh, Fallen above and beyond. Sick play from him with the orb. And now Pip, already finding two, has to look for more. And look at this, they know exactly where that bomb is. They can play to the time. 56 seconds, Pit's not done. He finds another! Pit, that's four kills already. And now Fallen left in the 1v2 to close this game out. He takes the fight and he loses it! Pit takes the ace to keep NIP alive in this tournament. That's an incredible strat of confidence. A lot of work on his shoulders at the moment if they do decide to push this but look at the position lovely work from twist he goes aggressive he found one he's found two important stuff he's gonna find a third as well twist going ham he's gonna find the fourth what a play from twist so there's a strong start at least for g2 in this key round they cannot allow luminosity to get past 13 rounds here if Luminosity get up onto 14, that's far too close. Look at Cold sneaking in to be as a response to the mid-aggression and takes out Scream. They're going to try for the smoke and the flash to try and see if they can get cross. Shocks off on the side, going for the Famas spray, but not quite connecting. Cold will take him out. And it's back into a 2-on-2 jump shot with the AW from Smith inside the smoke. The flank coming up from Body as well, and he's got a clear shot taking out Fallen. It's all on Cold here, 1-on-2. On they need this to close out the map, and Cold spray not quite connecting yet. There's so much time on that bomb still left, and G2... They're just going to move up together here, trying to see if they can get a little bit of teamwork in. Cold getting close, there's the one shot, he sprays, oh, he's oh, oh, comes out with the pistol instead! He's got no HP and body moving close to Cold, he comes, oh, that's the shot! Cold zero for the quad kill! Duels one. Fallen looks like he's gonna lead the way, at least hold an angle with that scout. Naf, he's gotta hit this shot, not able to do it. It's all down to rush. He's got four to kill, they line up, he gets two. Time to reload as well. 1v2 now, Rush has to play this absolutely perfectly. Bomb is planted in his favor, taking the fight towards FNX. He gets that, now it's 1v1 against Fallen. Fallen with the scout just flies in, he knows time is against him. He doesn't have a kid to ah, the rush! Going above and beyond for Optic, that was almost impossible a sick bit of play again will push him further and further towards that top of the scoreboard 17 and 5 for rush he's had one hell of a start to this game sometimes you just can't account for these performances or these these
individual efforts. You can see Fallen.